All right, folks, it's your boy, Mr. Bucklist here. Um, so this one's gonna be, again, a little bit sad. We are currently at the Lorraine Motel. If you don't familiar with this, this is actually where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was actually shot and killed. Um, they turned it in from an old motel to a museum. So as you all can see behind me, this is dedicated to Dr. King. He was standing right there and lost his life. And so like I said, they turned this whole motel into a museum now. But it's just crazy. That's not the actual car he had, but that's what the vehicle looked like at the time. It's just crazy. Um, it's pretty sad. The guy that shot him and killed him was in one of those buildings over there. I'm going to check out in a little bit. And this is the gift shop, you all. So when you leave, there's a gift shop here. And you go downstairs to the next floor. Hey folks, it's your boy Mr. Bucklist here. So I just want to give you all a quick breakdown of the video like usual. Um, I will have timestamps in there, so if there are particular portions you want to jump around to, they'll be there. Um, for example, this Civil Rights Museum actually has the hotel where Dr. King lost his life, and then it also has the boarding house where the man who shot him was at. So you actually has two different parts. Um, lastly is um, during the video, you're not really supposed to do like full video recording. So that's why I had little snippets and I was just worn out. I'm worn out now just looking at it. So I didn't do much commentary while I was there. I'm not going to do any basically right now as well. So just giving you all a heads up. I hope you all, I wouldn't say enjoy the video, but I hope you all learn something from the video and I'll see you soon. And this is the famous bus from the Montgomery bus boycott in Rosa Parks. This is crazy right now. I'm about to walk inside of it. Well, please move to the back of the bus. Man, that scared me inside of me. I need that seat now. Please move back. Wow. If you can sit there on other buses, suppose you get off and in the And she said, I'm not moving. And she didn't. And there she is. Her mugshot. Rosa Parks. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy.
get that and go on all the way up to DC. Alright people, just remember that bridge I was on in Selma, this is it right here, Bloody Sunday, this is crazy. There it goes. Man, this is, I was just there, this is so crazy. Thank you. 
The Black Power Movement was a logical extension of the civil rights movement and more progressive change rather than a radical break in the direction. All right, so for this portion, I actually did want to do some commentary. Um, this, as you all can see, are the two rooms that Dr. King and his um, associates occupied at the time of his death. Um, it's hard. It was very hard and upsetting just to comprehend when you're there. I don't know. For me, I just... <laughs> the vibe throughout this entire trip, um, and this was actually just a civil rights trip that I made randomly because I was just very curious at seeing this type of stuff and just kind of seeing history instead of just always reading about it. But to actually be there, um, the vibe itself is just so upsetting. And I mean, not to mention they left the rooms exactly the way they were after the time of his death. So it just, it hits you. It really hits you. Um, they had a little music. I can't play the music because it's probably copyrighted, but they had some music playing in the background and it just, the tone is just, it was hard. It was very hard on me. Um, and I just, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it other than just when you go there, just kind of be prepared to understand what you're walking into. Um, it's, it just has the vibe of death around it. And it just, it's really unfortunate. So like I said, I just want to talk about it and just let you all know this wasn't a video I made because I wanted somebody to enjoy it. It's, uh, no, it's more about just let you all know, hey, this is, this is what's out there if you're interested in seeing it. All right, so now I'm heading across the street to the Legacy. It's basically the building that was used to kill Dr. King. <sighs> This is going to suck so bad. So this is some really nice pictures. She said floor two, then floor one. Please, but. So that's the guy's name that killed him, James Orway. And this is a replica of this vehicle. Looks like a devilish vehicle. Not sure what the deal is with that hanger. This is bedroom. That's it. That's where he did it. Man, 
That's crazy. So all he literally did was just set up the window and got him. Hmm. Alright, I apologize I'm not talking too much. I'm just so out of it right now. But this is the bathroom, y'all. So that's the window, and then that's the, um, that's where you took the shot. It's pretty scary. That's it. That is the gun that was used. To shoot him. You also had this pistol as well. And that's the guy. What a demon. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.